everyone, and welcome back to another edition of the Valley Vlog. My name is Kellen Forrester, and if you don't know already, this is a video series done by The Gleaner, where I try out fun, COVID-safe activities that you can do while still feeling connected to your community. Today, we are going on a field trip. Well, you may be used to this closet and this blue wall and the kitchen downstairs, those are not the sets of today's Valley Vlog. Personally, something that helps me feel really connected to my community is shopping local. And in the Valley, we have such a wide range of shops and restaurants that there's really something for everyone. One of my favorite ways to support local is to use our local thrift stores. Not only is it a great way to support local, but as a bonus, it's better for the environment and way more cost-effective than buying fast fashion. So today, I'm gonna visit two Valley thrift stores, explore what they're like, and then try to style my new finds. We are headed to the St. Rome Thrift Store in Hemingford and the Community Thrift Store in Huntington. Let's get started. All right, everybody, it is Saturday morning. We are starting our thrift store adventure, and the first store of the day is in Hemingford. I am so excited. Oh my goodness, it's so windy. Ah, yay, let's do this. Okay, I have only been here for like two minutes and look at all this amazing stuff I have. Are you kidding me? A teal velvet button down? I am living the dream right now. Okay, I'm speaking quietly because I don't want to disrupt anyone that's here, but I have to say this place is amazing. It is so inclusive. There's stuff for men, women, children of all shapes and sizes. There's houseware. It is honestly amazing here. I have about 26 things to try on in this changing room, so I'm going to try those on and then make my final purchases. I have tried on everything and one, two, three, four, five, six new items are gonna find their home in my closet today. All right, I just left the store. I came out of there with five new shirts and a pair of pants and it cost me $23. Where else, where else do you find value like that? I am amazed, I am blown out of the water. And honestly, shopping here was a true Valley experience. Everyone was so kind and so welcoming. I ran into my high school English teacher. What a day it's been. I can't wait to go home and try on all these wonderful things and show them off. But for now, you'll have to wait in suspense because we're on our way to Huntington. I just arrived at Huntington and there is thrift store number two. Just like in Hemingford, my cart is filling up so quickly. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be out of space soon. Okay, I'm speaking quietly because I don't want to disrupt anybody, but I have to say, I never find pants anywhere. Everywhere I go, I can never find pants. I have found like six pairs of pants in two minutes here. It's a good day. As you can see, my cart is very full. So I'm gonna go try this stuff on. Okay, I just finished all the stuff on, and surprise, surprise, I'm buying more velvet. I, what do you want? It's my favorite thing. I love it, I love it. Okay, I wanted to update you as I was leaving Huntington, but there were a lot of people in the thrift store and I wanted to respect everybody's privacy. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who welcomed me there. They were so kind. And again, it was an amazing experience. I ended up getting a pair of jeans, a matching set, a tank top and a long sleeve shirt for $17. I cannot stress enough how lucky we are to have these thrift stores right around the corner. Wow, wow! And now I'm gonna try to style my new finds using just basics I already have in my closet. And I'll make sure to let you know how much each item cost and which thrift store I bought it at.
What do you think? Am I fashion week ready? Let me know in the comments. That concludes this week's edition of the Valley Vlog. Thank you so much for watching. But before we go, we have to put something in our good things of 2021 jar. This can be something big or small. It's just about celebrating something positive every week. Today I put in that this week my brother and I ordered lunch from a new local sushi place and oh my goodness, it was revolutionary. What a great day. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and share it for the world to see. And let me know in the comments what do you want to see me do next and what did you put in your good things jar this week. And as always, please stay safe, stay healthy, take care of each other and I'll see you very soon.